One of my first previews of the importance of Guanxi and Asian business culture were the stories told by my Uncle John, who in the 80s was the national sales manager for Zenith, based in Austin, Texas. Uncle John was raised in Taiwan following the Communist Revolution in 1949, so his opportunities to immigrate began much earlier than we have witnessed over the past two decades of Chinese citizens flocking overseas with their wealth and children. So the story goes, a young college student walked into the Zenith office, also a store back then, and asked my uncle about getting a couple monitors on consignment to build computers that he wanted to sell. He said, I can't pay you for them now, but once I sell these computers, I'll pay you and purchase more. So Uncle John described a confident young man who seemed very trustworthy. So he granted the request with no timeline to pay, simply saying, just come back when you're ready for more. Several years later, he moved back to Taiwan to take care of his father, my grandfather, and he joined Quanta Computer as a senior advisor to the chairman, who was also one of his college friends. Quanta is a Taiwanese contract manufacturer specializing in laptops, and their largest key account was Dell Computers. In case you haven't figured it out yet, the young man in Texas assembling computers was named Michael as in Michael Dell, who helped revolutionize the personal computer industry with its direct-to-consumer business model. As the computer revolution was happening in America, China was just beginning to open up. The biggest aspiration of most ordinary Chinese citizens was still to own a television and a bicycle, as very few people even had personal landline phones. Uncle John describes that he always knew the phones in his hotel rooms were tapped, but he found it whimsical how easy it was to sell computers to Chinese government officials. The officials didn't care what computers could do or be used for. Instead, they just wanted to carry these early 15-pound portable computers around for their face-giving prestige. And this story reminds me of the early days in China when I was there, and the first thing every China business person would do before dinner was to slap their bulky mobile phones on the table as a show of stature. The size of your cell phone was a symbol of your importance in Chinese society, or di wei, and an integral aspect of its face culture.